So the past couple of days, I have been getting notification from the Windows Defender saying that it has found the threats, basically like virus, Trojan or malware. And I didn't took any action. And the program that it's flagging is called Traffic Monitor. If you're a regular viewer, then you know what it is. I always use this to show the download and upload speed, CPU and memory usage, and also the GPU and CPU temperature. Okay, it's a pretty cool program that I have been using for more than a year now. But the crazy thing is now, all of a sudden, it's not flagging the program. And I didn't took any action in the Windows Defender uh, because I already knew that this was a false positive and on top of that the crazy thing is this isn't the main program that is being flagged so you can see it has flagged the program many times because every time i turn on my computer it would scan the system and block the program when it blocked the program the cpu temperature wasn't showing up so it was something related to cpu temperature or something that this program uses to show the CPU temperature. So I did some research and I found out that there are other programs that are being flagged. So there is this one called Libre Hardware Monitor. This is a open source program to show the system info like temperature, usage and all that. And the program that I'm using, the traffic monitor, is actually uses the Libre Hardware Monitor to show the CPU and GPU temperature. Since the Libre Hardware Monitor was being flagged as a trojan yeah this program was also flagged and there is another program that was also being flagged you can see these posts are a couple of days old okay it was started happening just recently so this is called the fan control another free and open source project at github and uh, yeah this was also being flagged and it looks like they have updated the program just four hours ago maybe now it's not being flagged anymore I should go and check the releases. Oh, okay. It also uses the Libre hardware monitor for something. So that is the reason why it was being flagged. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think I should go and check the Libre hardware monitor. Let's see if this was updated. No, this was not updated. So now all of a sudden, for some reason, after flagging these programs, for almost a week actually. I have been extremely busy these days and I couldn't make the video when I started having these issues. Uh, but I knew that this was false positive or something, okay? Now again, all of a sudden, it's working. So this is the thing that it's flagging, the traffic monitor.sys. And it says that this is a Trojan and this is a dangerous program that can execute commands from an attacker. The message is actually scary. So let's actually try to scan it. Maybe today this forgot to scan the system. I think this was probably a mistake. And I also ran the virus total scan on the program that I use. Okay, the traffic monitor and the program itself is clean. There isn't a single virus or thread or Trojan detection here. You can see this program is clean. Let's try out the Libre hardware monitor because this is the main program that many other system info program uses like the fan control, the traffic monitor. Okay, and you can see this time it says no new threads found. <laughs> Okay, so I have the history here. Yeah, I'm still running that program. Again, I knew this was false positive, but it took almost a week for Microsoft to realize or whoever works on the Windows Defender <laughs> that this was false positive. I'm pretty sure there are many other programs that are being flagged for no reason. Again, I did not took any action. It resolved itself and let's upload the another one that we just downloaded the main program libre hardware monitor okay and this one is also clean okay these programs are popular okay they are fairly popular free and open source program look at the stars this is a system monitor that shows the gpu cpu temperature usage and all that so i think many people know about this and uh, this fan control thingy is also even more popular actually look at the star here <laughs> uh, basically you can control the fans of your computer using this there is this another open source program called open rgb 
So that was also being uh, flagged. This is also a fairly popular program. It is actually available for Linux and Mac too. So basically you can control the RGB. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is open source. Yeah, using this, you can, uh, you know, control the lights of your computer. <laughs> okay, the RGB lights. So this was also being flagged. But again, it looks like Microsoft has fixed this. Okay, many people were scared actually. But it looks like everything is okay now. You don't have to take any action. No, nothing like that. So if you use one of these programs like Fan Control, OpenRGB, Traffic Monitor, or Libre Hardware Monitor, yeah, you can use them without any issue now. Windows Defender will not flag them anymore. And yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.